there's an entire alternative universe uh, in terms of investments, right? So private equity, I would also say, is part of that. And the interesting thing about this year, I would say, from an asset allocation point right. of view, is that 2008 drops off the five-year uh, projections. Ah. Yeah. Right? So from on a three-year and a five-year basis, there's going to be a lot of people that are wondering and saying, gee, I'm paying one in 20 or two in 20 to underperform the market by right. a large Here's market. a piece from the article. Let's talk about this, Jason. I thought it was a great article, nice summary of uh, the ch huge challenges. This is called Hot Car. Hedge funds have also been hurt by their success. Most of the advantages their investors once had from better information to far fewer people trying to do what they do have evaporated. Sir John Templeton was really big on this concept. You get an idea, it works, and then everybody piles in and the information advantage disappears. If you, if you look at the growth of the hedge fund industry over simply the past 20 years, it's been asymptotically, so I mean, there, there might have been uh, 20 guys. There might have been 20. $20 billion in hedge funds in 1991. Yep. There's $3 trillion now. There's 7500 around the world. That's obviously, it's just the returns have to be, less, almost by definition, mm. have to be less. Well, this is something that we'll be discussing throughout the morning. And in fact, it is our Twitter question of the day. Is investing in hedge funds for suckers? Again, you do not want to miss this week's Borowski's nodding his head. You know, Borowski's going, yep. Tweet us at the surveillance with your answer and also your thoughts on the cover. Uh, that's not true, Todd. I mean, I, I think it's, it depends on what hedge fund. I think, I think going back to that point, I mean, there, there's going to be some investments that are good, and there's going to be a lot, a lot look, that are look, bad. Two and twenty, two percent gross. It's what five times more expensive than a typical mutual fund, just as a round well, number. Well, yeah, I would say it's not quite that bad, but it's uh, it's certainly a lot more expensive. But I think Neil is right. It really depends on on 